Baum. Oh, look at that. It seems to be a shark. Speaking of sharks, did you know that sharks had been on this planet since 450 million years? It is one of the species that has emerged as one of the most evolutionary successful species ever to live on this planet. So today, let us track their evolutionary history and learn about these amazing species and how they came to their modern forms in today's episode called The Evolution of Sharks. Zoom in! Sharks first began to develop as a unique species during the Silurian period around 450 million years ago from one of the many bony fish called Acanthodian. These fish are known to be the very first ancestors of the modern shark. And about 50 million years after the Silurian era, the Devonian era began and the very first fully formed shark, the Leonotus shark emerged with an eel-like body and were about 16 inches long. But the first modern avatar of sharks, the Clodosolachi, appeared in the late Devonian era. They differed from its eel-like ancestors and its body looked more close to what modern sharks look like. They were about 6 feet long with a streamlined body, 5 to 7 gill slits and dorsal fins. But they had a round nose shape and its jaw was stiff and fixed to its head as compared to modern sharks. Then began the golden age of sharks, the Carboniferous era around 360 million years ago and the sharks started to dominate the oceans like never before as they began to split into many subspecies including rays, skates and chimeras. Few strange and new species of sharks like the Stetacanthus, the Eugenio Dontida and the Falcatus nicknamed the Unicorn Shark, evolved during this period. And about 200 million years ago, with the Jurassic era, the modern shark began to rise like the Hypotus, which unfortunately got extinct. During this era, sharks began to evolve flexible and protruding jaws and developed mouths under their snout so that they could hunt and eat larger prey and developed tail fins that allowed them to swim faster and more efficiently. And then came the Cretaceous era. Some 145 to 65 million years ago, many deep sea sharks like the goblin shark originated during this period. It was also the time when Lamnidae sharks, also known as white sharks, with the anatomy of what we think of sharks having today, evolved. Then came the Cenozoic period about 60 million years ago and then entered the most famous prehistoric shark that defined sharks as vicious, clever, apex predators, the Megalodon, meaning big tooth. They were the biggest ocean predator that ever existed under the surface of the water with a whopping length of around 65 feet and weighing around 30 tons. With 7 inch long teeth, they even used to eat whales. Trivia time! Did you know most of the sharks of the planet have developed in the Cenozoic era? The newest shark species to enter the water is the hammerhead shark that dates back about 20 million years. Also, currently there are around 440 species of sharks swimming in our seas. However, all 440 species of sharks are currently under threat from none other than humans. And if we do not stop killing them, then they will not survive in the future. So friends, 
let us take a pledge to do everything in our hands to save this massive creature that plays an important role in our ecosystem. And one of the ways to help sharks is by sharing this video with your friends and family. It's question time! Today's question is, which species are the first ancestors of the modern shark? Do write in your answer in the comment section below and hit the like button to be a part of the Peekaboo family and get a chance to get it featured at the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Wow! It's coming towards me! Whoa! Ah. <laughs> Never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!